Hello and welcome to Monday the 17th of September 2018 and this is the start of week three for my weekly vlog so I hope you've enjoyed the previous two. Oh, look at my hair, it's a mess, it's bed hair. I have been up quite a while. Um, I've actually made three videos this morning. I've posted my weekly vlog from last week, so I hope you all really enjoyed that. Please go and see it if you haven't seen it already, and of course leave me a comment on there. And also I woke to the news that Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, has released a charity cookbook, or rather she's helped the people um, who are involved with the actual cookbook. She connected them with a publisher, which I thought was really, really amazing because she thought obviously the project was really worthwhile. She'd been making a series of private visits since January and she also wrote the foreword for the book. So I had to make, of course I had to make two videos on that as well as posting the weekly vlog. Ah, it's exhausting. And also I woke up and like my neck feels really, really sore and I don't know if I slept a little bit funny on it, if I slept a bit awkward, but all around here feels really sore and swollen. I hope I'm not getting sick. <gasps> I really hope not. Oh, and also, um, look what I'm using. It's my Laird of Dunan's Castle mug. Because of course I am the Laird of Dunan's Castle. Uh, the much honoured Laird of Dunan's Castle. I'll have you know, thank you very much. So yes, thank you for the mug. And the title. It's amazing. Um, yes, so I'm in my garden. Um, what will this week hold? Who knows? Hey everyone. Um, okay, we're in a different location. We are actually in my home gym. Yes, I do indeed have a home gym. And a little unknown fact that you may not know about me, in fact I don't think anyone knows this, but back in 2005 I did actually complete, successfully I might add, a gym instructor, a recognised gym instructor qualification in the UK. And back for around about two or three years, probably 2006, 2007, 2008, I worked out quite a lot and I actually, you know, I got quite far. And then I've kind of had at least a 10 year hiatus. I've done little bits every now and again, but I have made a conscious decision that I want to get back into my home gym. Um, I'll do a little gym tour at some point, maybe not today, I might do that later on in the week, but I am going to get back into the gym. Um, I feel like I really do need to. It's September and for me, September always feels a bit like a new start. It always feels like, kind of like a new year, like the beginning of the year when people make their New Year's resolutions, except this isn't a New Year's resolution, it is going to be a meaningful and purposeful lifestyle change, lifestyle choice. So I am going to be following, to get back into this, I mean this is only kind of classed I think as a beginner's programme, but I am going to be doing the 5x5 Strong Lifts programme. There is an app and also a website. Um, so that, the app is really, really helpful. I did do a little bit of this uh, workout back in the Easter holidays, but because of one thing or another, I sort of did it for two weeks and then stopped because of my schedule. But since things have eased up a little bit, I now feel like I'm able to schedule it all in and I'll be able to keep up with it. And it was working quite well. So the five by five is that you do it three times a week. You have one rest day in between each workout and at least two days of solid rest. Because of course, those of you who work out, who know, um, know about how the body works will know that rest time is almost as important as actually doing the workout itself and also diet but we'll get to diet at some point later i just want to kind of get back into working out first that is the first step so i know that after this workout my first workout back i'm going it's going to kill me it's going to really really kill me i'm going to ache i'm going to be sore i've already got a sore neck from either sleeping funny or an illness coming on i don't know but i'm going to push through and fight it and i'm going to do this um, so yeah, it's three times a week. You only do three exercises per session and you do five sets of five reps and you try and lift kind of like the heaviest weight you can, but you build up gradually to that heavy weight. So if you're successful at the five, the, uh, the five reps for five sets, then you go up um, a little bit of weight and the app tells you how much to go up by on the next workout and you also alternate workout A from workout B. There are two workouts A and B but I'll show you more of that a little bit later but I just wanted to kind of tell you that I'm getting back into the gym and I'm really going to try 
My best. Wish me luck. I need it. Molly, what have you done to the rug? What have you done? Did you do that to the rug? What are you doing? What are you doing to my rug? Oh, I see. It's a big game. Is there a mouse under there? Hello, sweetie. <laughs> what are you Hello, it is Tuesday the 18th of September. Oh, yesterday. Okay, so I did my workout. I'll update you on where I left off. I did my workout. Oh, it was a bit of a failure. Well, I say a failure. It wasn't a failure in the respect that I did get back into it. I did do a workout, but it wasn't how I wanted it to be. Um, I didn't quite follow the program. It was a little bit too much. I started to feel literally a bit physically sick. So I think I need to ease myself into it a lot more gently. So that is what I will be, that's the approach I will be taking from now on. But look, it's glorious weather. It's Tuesday and the sun is shining. And I want to update you on the little hole. In fact, I'll turn the camera around and update you on the hole. Okay, here is the hole and we can see Molly using it as a little through route into next door's garden. Uh, but last week I showed you this hole and I was pondering what made the hole? Was it a fox? Was it a badger? I thought badger. Most people thought fox. Um, even in my own family most people thought fox, but no, I was right it was a badger because last night when Jason and I were coming back from um, our Monday night takeaway, which happened to be McDonald's, we saw a badger escaping. So it was most definitely a badger. Hello, I am such a bad vlogger. You have permission to spank me. Um, I didn't really have much opportunity, much opportunity to communicate with you yesterday, which was Tuesday. It is now Wednesday and I finally am able to catch up with you guys. I've been busy making three videos today already, which I've already posted. Lots of British Royal engagements are happening. So I've been doing videos on those. I, I still have one more to make after I've finished in the gym. I'm still really, really sore from last time, but I've got to carry on. I've had my day's rest. I need to push on with the program regardless. Yesterday we had Jason's parents over, so I did lots of cleaning. So it wasn't terribly exciting anyway. I didn't really think you'd kind of want to see me running around with a mop. I don't know, maybe you do. Maybe you do want to see me cleaning. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section. But I am going to do a workout now. I need to get some proper workout bottoms. I mean, I've got a workout top, which is like one of those nice um, sort of materials that keeps you cool. And um, if you do sweat, it doesn't kind of stick to your body like cottonwood. So it's quite a nice material, but I haven't really got good um, workout bottoms as we call them. So I do need to get something sorted there. Look what it is! It's Megan's cookbook, Together Our Community Cookbook. I'm actually holding it in my hands, but I can't buy it because I've already pre-ordered it. Ah, oh, it's gorgeous. I want it so bad. Okay, so we are now in my local craft store and I thought we'd have a little wander around because there's loads of interesting things. But Jason is actually on the upstairs uh, layer up those stairs that you can see but my legs can't make it up there they're still aching from the gym so I'm going to stay on the bottom I may go up there later if my legs can take me they are kind of getting ready for Christmas there's a few Christmas crafts in here oh, oh look at these fake flowers I love them I do sometimes use fake flowers and um, those of you who've watched my older live chat videos where I filmed it in my kitchen may have seen some fake flowers in there but there are loads of different crafts in this store, including lots of paper crafts. And I think that's the section that we're in at the moment. So I'm going to continue my little wander. There's so much interesting things. Oh, look at this beautiful paper. You could even kind of you know, use that for doll's house wallpaper or that kind of thing. So many different uses, all these colours of card. Wow. Um, <laughs> by the way, Dawn, this is for you. Uh, I, I know you love your crafting. Um, it's kind of craft heaven, isn't it? Card making. Um, I've never actually made a card. I think maybe I should start making some cards. Although I did make some handmade cards for my Patreon um, members as well. 
I love these kind of cardboard models and you can kind of either paint them or you can cut pieces of paper out. And I think it's called decoupage. I think you can decoupage them. Uh, there's boxes and animals and all kinds of different things, whatever you can kind of think of. I love them. My legs made it onto the upper layer. Um, so yeah, this layer is just basically, um, you know, art supplies for painting and photo frames, that kind of thing. Hello everybody, it is Thursday and it's the first time I'm vlogging today on Thursday. But I have been shopping, so you may have seen some of the footage which I posted when I was shopping. I didn't manage to get all of the shopping footage, it was too busy. So I did feel a little bit strange about vlogging with all those people around and I, was, I had my hands full and it was busy trying to shop. Anyway, maybe I'll try and do some kind of, you know, shopping video a little bit better, maybe in an upcoming vlog. But I am going to show you what I bought. I mean, there's not that much, just a little small shopping haul. So it's in a next bag. By the way, this is a non-sponsored video, but I am going to show you what I bought. Not everything in here is from next. So let's start with the non-item of clothing which I bought, because it is mainly just clothes. So I did pick up the latest copy of Royal Life magazine. It's basically just kind of like the same sort of engagements which I cover for my channel, but you know, I do like to look at them in a magazine form. It's a little bit of light reading before bed, so I am going to enjoy that. It's, there's loads of, um, you know, photographs and just information. It's a little nice light read before bed. And of course, a lovely um, cover photograph of Harry and Meghan. And this is the 2018 A Royal Year to Remember. So I look back so far at the Royal Year. Let's see what else I've got in here. Mm. Um, now these are two things which I kind of, I really liked. Now from Next, I've not really liked their clothes for a while. I thought they kind of lost their way a bit. But today there was loads of things that I liked. And I did buy this kind of hoodie top which I'll probably model a little bit later, but it was reasonably priced. It was 22 UK pounds. And um, I don't know, I just like it. And in fact, I may, I may even put it on now for you. <laughs> Shall we do a little strip? I don't know. But yes, I just really liked it. I like the material, it's soft, it's nice and light. So for example, in the winter, uh, when you've got your heating on or I've got my log fire on and you don't want something too heavy, but this is really, really nice just to sort of put on. It's lightweight, you can have it open, uh, you can do it up. Um, and it's just really, um, I like it. There we go, look, I'll just model it for you. Of course, I'll remove the tag, um, but it fits really nicely. It's just really, really nice, so I'm going to keep it on. And um, what else did I buy? Let's just put this to one side for a moment. Um, like I say, I did, it's not a big shopping haul, it's just uh, these two things. So this, cost £24 and it's a long sleeve top which I don't, it's kind of a little bit jumpery-ish but it's, it's fairly thin, I'm not sure if you can see that, um, but it's quite a nice little, um, it's not really a pattern, it's more just a design um, and it's got long sleeves which of course keep you warm in the winter, it's a little bit of winter wear but again it's light so that you can wear around the house and if the central heating's on or I've got my log fire on I'm not going to be too sweaty so yeah i just bought a few little things had a little splurge um let me know what you think <laughs> oh i forgot in my haul video i also bought a pen this was in the bag um which i didn't get to show you but it is a parker vector in um stainless steel i, I do believe uh, it's a fountain pen uh, i did have a different one in plastic actually which I lost. I have no idea where it was. I used it once during a live chat, which I did previously. I used to film in my kitchen and I lost it. And I, to this day, I have no idea where it is. It's somewhere in the house, but I haven't been able to find it. So um, I bought a new one. And by the way, it has a royal crest by appointment to Her Majesty, the Queen, and also the Prince of Wales, Prince Charles. So that shows that they use Parker pens. Not necessarily this one. This was uh, a cheap one, by the way, but they do have, you know, more expensive models. So yes, uh, this is what I do my writing and my notes in for my live chats. And I have a new one, so yay! Hey everyone, um, oh, you probably can't see it right now because I've covered it up with 
um, with a little bit of makeup, I have a little bit of concealer, um, but I've got this humongous, like, I've got this humongous spot or bite, I don't know what it is, it feels like it's eating into the side of my face, it's really itchy, it's swollen, my face is really puffy, um, I've managed to get through the day, kind of covering it all up. Later on tonight, I'm going to leave this on for a little bit longer because I don't want to expose it to the world, uh, but later on tonight I'm going to take off what I've put on and I will show you what my face looks like. It's horrible, it's red, it feels like it needs to come to a head. My mother did say maybe get some cotton wool in some really really hot water as hot as I can bear and try and like hold it on, see if it'll draw out what's inside. It is disgusting, um, but yes, either a spot or a bite, I don't know what it was. It's been there for a few days, which I've managed to cover up, but today it just seems to have gotten really, really bad. So yes, I will reveal all before I go to bed. Uh. Hello, it is Friday morning. I've just woken up and uh, yeah, this is what my face looks like without any cover up on. Um, it did come to a little bit of a head, so I think it is just a really, really bad spot. It, I mean, again, it could have still have been a bite, but I think it's more likely to be a spot. I did apply some hot water and cotton wool to help try and draw it out last night. I've just kind of popped it, um, but yes, look, I mean, it's, um, you can see the hump. It's, it's like a proper raised bump. Um, <laughs> once I've finished, you will not be able to see it because I will conceal it to the hilt. <laughs> um, so you will not be seeing this in any videos. Um, but yes, this is what lies beneath. Oh, it needs to heal. It's so raised, look. And it's so sore. I feel like noddy. It's horrible. So I think I've just about covered it. I mean, you can still see it um, a little bit, but it's not it's not anywhere near as red. I've taken out a lot of the red. This is only two layers. Um, I will put an extra layer on before I go out. By the way, I need to have a shower still. Um, so this is just basically in case anybody comes to the door. I am expecting some parcels. So, um, so yeah, I don't want to look horrendous for the postman. <laughs> no, I will not lower my standards even to open the door. Hello, just a little check back. Um, it's nearly four o'clock in the afternoon on Friday. Um, I've added maybe an extra layer of cover up and you know, it's not looking too bad. I mean, you can still see it. I don't think anything is gonna hide it completely, but um, at least it's enough to kind of get me through the day, I think. Uh, right, I need to go and edit a video. I need to do a voiceover and then I am going in the gym and I may even film a gym tour. Oh, okay, so I've just woken up from a little nap. It's, um, what time is it? Let's have a look. Okay, so it's ten to nine. And I am going to, I've actually got written down all notes to film a video. I've just woken up. Um, I've got Rory on my lap. My feet are up. I have a reclining electric chair with my feet up. Uh, Molly is over there on the chair. I'm not sure if you can see. She's over there. Um, yes, I feel rather sleepy. I think I need to wake up and then I need to film my video about Dory's mother. Um, because I do. So yes, there's Rory. Look at his big fluffy tummy. Look at that big fluffy tummy. Hmm. No, Rory. I think we're all tired. <laughs> Oh, Rory, you look all snuggled up on the blanket. Look at you. Aww. Hey, everyone. It is Saturday the 22nd. I'm, I still have my horrible spot, which I have covered up. You can probably just about see. I am just on my way with my parents to go to see my grandma, and we are going to buy her some fish and chips. Maybe I can get some footage of the actual fish and chips while I'm there. Um, we'll, we'll have to see. But look, Molly is sleeping. Hello, Molly. <laughs> She's totally flat out. Um, it's quite bad weather outside, as you can probably see through the blinds. 
um, a really dull, really dull kind of grey day. Um, it's been raining, I have been out with my umbrella. Everybody meet my nan's cat Rupert, who likes to play with his little grey pom-pom. <laughs> So we are now on our way to a different store, a different um, town actually, to visit a different store and I'll show you when we get there. So as you can see, it's rather dull in the UK right now, it's raining, it's also been incredibly windy, so the landscape isn't too great. And over the local river we go. Okay, so we're here, and this kind of took my eye. It's a salt lamp, a natural salt lamp, and it gives off this amazing kind of orange glow. It's gorgeous. I just had to show you this amazing array of novelty aprons, and of course they have lots of interesting slogans, um, including Prosecco Princess, and more wine please, Curry King. <laughs> Let me know if you have an apron, and if you do, what is on your apron? I have a Buckingham Palace apron, um, so I'd love to know what you've got on your aprons. Oh, look, it's a loose leaf teapot, but they don't have one in stock. They, they only have the display model. I really wanted this one. Cleaning brushes, I'm in heaven. Look at all these, these are radiator brushes. Ah, they're so soft and yes, wonderful. I'm really disappointed. The Christmas section isn't open yet. They're still setting up, but look, you can see they are getting ready for Christmas. Ah, heaven. These are so pretty. You hang them up outside and they um, make all these interesting patterns and shapes in the wind. Wow, I love them. It's a mower. Mower just to... Okay, so does anybody actually have or use one of these automated lawn mowers? Put your mark, put your mm -hmm. Okay, so I've just finished my live chat. Um, I recorded a video again earlier before my live chat, so I've been very, very busy. I need to get tidied up. As you can see, my room is an absolute mess again. I've been doing lots of openings. Uh, again, thank you so, so, so much to everyone who donated to this week's, or contributed to this week's live chat. Even if you just literally posted a comment and watched the video, thank you so, 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 so much. I really do have the best friends on the internet of, I think, any YouTuber out there. I've had this amazing sash and lots of other fabulous gifts. Do go and watch the video, including this Welsh pin. Loads of different things. And of course I'm wearing the Queen Mary diamond bandeau, Meghan Markle's wedding tiara, in front of my portrait of the Queen. So thank you so, so much to everyone. I am going to film something in a moment for the weekly vlog. And then I need to really do, literally pack away, tidy up and relax. I need some relaxing time I think and then tomorrow I'm going to do a little bit more filming I think um, I might do my gym tour and if the weather's nice I might do some planting of my plants and we'll see if anything else crops up so I'll see you in a moment when I record the thing that I'm about to record and I may record something else too before bed Hello! Um, again, I'm filming literally pretty much after I've finished my live chat and I made a video about the lady in waiting that fell down the stairs. So this is my final video I'm making tonight before I relax, but I thought I'd include this for the weekly vlog and I wanted to go through some of the things which I bought earlier from, from the shops. Uh, of course, you saw some of my trip there. In fact, I'm a little bit annoyed because some of the videos I filmed um, only filmed like a second and I thought it was filming loads so there's a few things that I didn't get to show you which I really really wanted to. They had some amazing hyacinth bouquet type of mugs which I filmed and it literally only recorded for a second. Uh, I don't know what went wrong but anyway I'm going to show you what I did buy. So I did end up buying um, this rather <laughs> funny implement um, and no, well actually Jason was rather taken by it in fact I think he kind of hit me with it a few times, um, in a joking way, I might add. Um, he kind of poked me with it and tickled. And he's been tickling the cats as well. It's a good cat tickler. 
It's a good tickle stick. Um, but no, it's for radiators and, you know, you kind of put it down the radiators. And I have got the kind of slatty old fashioned radiators. So it kind of goes through really, really nicely. You can get it through, you know, all the nooks and crannies and it goes up and down and inside out and whatever way. It's good for tickling cats. It's good for poking people. Um, it's an all round good quality product. And I think it's really, really lovely. With a lovely little wooden handle and a nice little kind of um, leather toggle, which I hang up in my utility cupboard. Um, so yes, this is a really lovely um, radiator cleaning cleaning brush and it feels so lovely too. I mean, you could actually just use it on your face. It's so soft. The bristles are so soft. Can you see them? <gasps> lovely. So I will enjoy giving my radiators a really good tickle with this stick. Um, also, I bought some seeds because do you remember I said, uh, did I say? I don't even know if I said, but I'll say it now. I want to grow some flowers in my greenhouse because I have previously grown vegetables, but I really want to grow some flowers. So whilst I was at the store, I did see some seeds, which I'll show you now what I got. Most of these, if I want to get them flowering at the correct time, I need to kind of um, sow indoors somewhere between January and May. It says on the back of each packet. But I did get some of these lovely flowers. And these are called hollyhocks. Uh, they are double mixed, elegant stems at the back of borders. So March to July, flowers June to August, which is exactly what I want. So I'm going to look forward to sowing those little beauties. Another one which I really love are my nemesias. In fact, I, I did mention these in a weekly vlog. So these are nemesias. Easy to grow. Well, that's good. Vibrant coloured blooms. So March to May, flowers in June and September. And there are loads of lovely kind of like fiery, summery colours, which I'm really looking forward to. Most of the backs of these seeds do say to sow into trays and then kind of pot on to individual plants and then plant outside. Although you can wait later and sow outside once most of the frosts have gone. Now these are penstemons called Scarlet Queen. Um, I was slightly drawn by the name Scarlet Queen. And they are eye-catching flowers in the first year. Uh, so January to April, flowers July to October. So they seem really, really good ones, which I'm looking forward to. We also have uh, Antirhinums. I love these. Uh, Tom Thumb Mix. Dwarf plants for bedding and tubs. So you sow them January to March and flowers June to October. And these look fantastic. So I can't wait to get sowing these um, in January. Well, January onwards anyway. So... Oh, I also bought uh, a cutlery tray, which was too big for my drawer. How can it be too big for my drawer? Um, so my dad is going to try and like saw a bit off. <laughs> it's plastic, uh, but he's going to try and saw off. Like if you can imagine the rim of it kind of is too big for the drawer. So if I cut the rim off, or off, my dad cuts the rim off, um, hopefully it will fit. I only have a 13 inch wide drawer. Who knew? Um, I thought they were all standard size drawers. Uh, but no, my drawers are small. I have small drawers. I don't like small drawers. I want normal sized drawers, like normal people in a normal house. Oh, I feel like I'm snow white. Anyway, um, yes, so I'm gonna have my drawers adapted rather than my, um, my tray adapted. So I'm gonna go now and dust my radiators. No, I'm not, I'm gonna have a cup of tea. Um, and maybe, oh, actually I am gonna film something else possibly. No, I'm gonna film something else before bed. But it won't be in this room, it'll be in a different room. Anyway, I'll see you later. Hello, so we are here in my bathroom and um, I've made it through the day. It is still Saturday, I've done my live chat, I've done two other surprise pop-up chats, I've done some filming for, well, you've just seen the filming for this vlog. And I wanted to do something else because, as you can see, um, I've put on, probably today, about five layers of... Uh, like cover up on my spot and I've just kind of rubbed a little bit off with my finger and you can see it's kind of coming through now it's really really red underneath all the cover up you won't have seen it on any of the videos because I think I covered it up really really well um, but I'm going to use one of these wet wipes now I use um, simple wet wipes these are a water boost hydrating and cleansing wipe for sensitive skin I do always like to use simple products because they are uh, really soft on my sensitive Skin. So I'm going to now remove um, all the layers that I've put on because it 
I can feel it clogging up my skin. And then I'm going to choose one of these um, simple face masks, which I'll go through in a moment. And I'm gonna treat my skin to a facial cleanse whilst I watch my favorite program and drink a cup of tea. So first of all, I need to just take everything off, uh, paying in particular attention to the spot area. Um, it is a spot because it did actually come to a head, um, which I managed to squeeze out some of the horrible gunk. Anyway, it, it's gone a lot flatter, so it's still a little bit of a bump, but I still don't know what caused it. I think it was just literally um, probably a blocked pore or something of that nature. So I'm just gonna kind of wipe everything off. Ugh. Feels good to take it off, I have to say. Um, oh, ooh, look. <laughs> <laughs> yes, gross, I know. Um, but yeah, this is what I've been hiding, look. Um, that is pretty, it's really sore as well. Um, so I'm gonna put a little bit of a nice face mask on and treat my skin to something, something nice. There we go, right, so that is what I've been hiding <laughs> all day. Uh, but it did remind, I mean literally, I probably put on about five layers of cover up. So just make sure that's really, really nice, okay. So, um, yeah, that's the wipe. So what am I gonna put on now? Let's have a look. We have the simple, we have the simple pollution protect sheet mask with vitamin B3 and antioxidant. By the way, these are all made in Korea and I know Korean beauty products are quite the in thing now. Um, kind to skin, so pollution protect, I'm not sure whether it's pollution protect I need. This one is a de-stress sheet mask with aloe vera and multivitamins. Ooh, that's a contender. I think that one might. Or there's a rich moisture sheet mask with botanical extracts. Hmm. No harsh chemicals or anything of that nature. I, okay, it's a toss up, I think, between the de stress sheet mask with aloe vera and botanical extracts. Oh, I don't know which one. Um, I think I'm going to go for the aloe vera, because I think that's gonna be better on the skin. So let's read the instructions. I haven't done this before. Um, so it's a perfect antidote to stressed city skin. Okay, this could be it. Inspired by Asian beauty rituals, our new kind to skin sheet mask is made of natural fibers. So light and soft that it contours the face like a second skin. Oh, it's, it's a sheet mask. I thought it was like gunk, but it's not. Um, so it's infused with aloe, and skin loving vitamins. The mask infuses active nutrients right into the skin to instantly soothe and brighten stressed skin. Step one, put it on. Step two, leave 15 minutes and gently peel off. And step three, massage to absorb the excess of product into your skin or use a cotton pad to remove, no need to rinse. Use once or twice a week for naturally healthy looking skin. Okay, I'm gonna put this on. I'm probably gonna look like an alien or something. I don't know. Um, probably not gonna even be able to get into it. Okay, so it kind of rips off like that. Um, ooh, ooh. Oh, it smells gorgeous. Ah. Oh. Ooh, ooh, look what you get. Um, I've never done a sheet mask before. It looks, oh, it feels um, weird. Remarkably, it's rather cool. Okay, how on earth do you do this? Okay, I don't know. Um, oh. Look, uh, oh my goodness, look. <laughs> oh no, what am I gonna look like? Okay, hang on. Oh, oh that feels gorgeous. Oh, okay, I'm gonna smooth it on. Um, oh. oh, oh, I feel like something out of a horror movie. Um, what's that movie where he puts people's skin on his face? Okay, so I'm going to smooth it down. Paying particular attention. Oh God, you can even see the spot through this. That is a spot and a half. Crikey. I'm going to put some on the nose. Put some of the oil on the nose. But it's not oil. It's um, whatever the period. Okay, obviously it doesn't really stick to beards. Um, but I can get some of it on my fingers and rub it into the skin underneath. I think that's probably the best way to do this with a beard. Um, so I'm kind of getting it on my fingers, the, the moisture. It is quite wet actually. And I'm gonna just kind of rub it 
kind of into the skin, so eyelids maybe, um, into the beard, there we go, just rub it in, I'm not sure that will help, okay, so I'm going to leave this on now, <laughs> what do I look like, I can't believe I'm even doing this on camera, my goodness, so I'm going to leave this on now <laughs> for 15 minutes, oh my god, um, and you'll see me all refreshed and new, ooh, don't you all look lovely? <laughs> Bye. Okay, so it's been 15 minutes um, and I've kept on kind of like pressing it down and kind of rubbing it in and getting some of the, the liquid and putting it on the skin and holding it on the beard and squeezing it and kind of rubbing it in. I, by the way, if you do have one of these, there is actually still some residual kind of moisture in the packet. So what I did was I got my fingers in. There's not a lot left now. Um, but I did kind of go in and can you see there's like quite a bit there on the finger and I kind of went under and just kind of rubbed it into the skin under the beard. So don't let what's in the packet go to waste if you do have one of these. Um, so I'm going to peel it off now and I'm going to kind of squish it and get all the liquid out and kind of rub it in because that's what it says on the packet. Um, so yeah, let's, let's pull it off. Ugh. Oh. Ugh. Oh, no, I'm still not Brad Pitt. But anyway, let's kind of, I don't know, let's just use it like a, like a wipe, shall we? And just kind of like squeeze it on and kind of get it all on. I don't know whether this does anything. Let's rub it into the beard. <laughs> Waste not, want not. I don't know if this is what how you're supposed to do it. Um, but yeah, let's just, let's put it all on and uh, we'll leave it to dry. And then I will do my usual face care routine for bed, put my moisturiser on, and yeah, hopefully this big old spot will be going very, very soon. Ugh, it's like a Mount Vesuvius. Hey everyone, it is Sunday, the final day of this week's weekly vlog. Uh, I still don't know if I'm gonna manage to find time to plant the plants, which I wanted to plant. But I am definitely going to film the gym tour that I've been speaking about all week. So I will get that done. Um, I'm currently at my local supermarket. So I want to get a little bit of snacks for tonight. Maybe a cake or, you know, something really tasty to relax with tonight. As of yet, I still don't know who was at Balmoral with the Queen. So as soon as I get home, I'll be taking a look at that. And hopefully making a video about that later where we can discuss and talk all about it. Um, so yes, this is my Sunday. And look. It's back to being all sunny, uh, which is really, really, really lovely. Less wind, more sun. What a wonderful September. Oh. I'm back home and let's take a look at what's in the bag. Okay, so we have some lovelies in this box here from the bakery. And I might show you those, those a little bit later because I don't want to open the box and spoil them before I, before I actually want them. I got some crisps. Um, I do like these Seabrook crisps. One salt and vinegar. And one plain. My Cassinis, of course, for my hummus and tuna. And I also got um, two, two pots of hummus too. I bought two of these because they were on special offer. Because they were on special offer. Sensodyne Rapid Relief. They are really, really good and it does really, really work. I got something for now, which is a cheese and onion slice. Uh, two packs of Pringles. Uh, by the way, don't judge. Um, oh, a lovely chocolate mousse. Triple chocolate sundae. Yum. And two packs of fabulous fingers. Uh, why have a regular finger when a fabulous one will do? Hello and welcome to my mini gym tour. Um, by the way, there is, it's kind of half storage. So this side kind of needs all sorting out. It's half storage and it's half gym. It was purpose built for this purpose. So let's do the gym side because this is what we're kind of interested in. So we have a rubber matting floor. It's two layers. I think it's a total of 12 millimeters thick and it's really, really soft on your feet. And obviously it prevents any breakages to the concrete underneath if you drop a weight or anything of that nature. We have a moisture control unit, a, de a dehumidifier, which obviously collects all the water and works really, really well. These are my adjustable weights and they are really, really perfect because instead of faffing around with changing the weights on dumbbells, um, it's really, really easy. You just literally 
turn the dial to what weight you want, press the button down, turn the dial, and then it selects which weight uh, is appropriate to the weight which you've selected, and then you just lift it out. And it's on these handy stands, so you don't have to bend over if you have a bad back or anything like that. So these are really, really worth it. I would highly recommend those. Let's go to the, the main thing in the room, which is my squat rack. And it's a squat rack with upper and lower pulley. And as you can see, um, it's got a separate bench. This isn't the bench that came with anything. I did buy this bench separately. And it also has a barbell hold so that you can do chest press and those kinds of exercises. So I could have had a bench that's just a bench. And then obviously you use these to put your barbell on to do chest press. But this setup kind of works for me and Jason. So we have the high pulley, which has different bars, which you can attach as well. So the high pulley, um, you can do loads of different exercises with that. And of course we have the low pulley, which is hidden down here by the weight stack. I just took that away uh, whilst I've been doing squats and things. And of course, a very heavy weight stack there. Um, Obviously that is an Olympic bar, which weighs 20 kilograms in itself. So that's why there's tiny little weights on the end. Um, I can lift heavier than that. I used to lift a lot heavier than that, but because I've just got back into it, um, I'm starting off low on the program and building up because like I say, my program is where you increase the weight each week anyway. So I will very quickly get up and I'll probably be wishing it was lighter. We have the Olympic weights and non-Olympic weights, which kind of need organizing a little bit. And again, on this side, we have some over here. And we have the music center, which needs updating because this does not play music from my phone. It's not Bluetooth. And you know, who uses CDs anyway, these days? And we have the pièce de résistance, my fan. Um, everyone needs a fan. And this is pretty much like a Beyonce wind machine. Oh my goodness. Beyonce's wind machine has nothing on mine. Look, look at the force in this fan. You can hear me. Oh, I'm getting blown in the Beyonce wind machine. Look, oh, it's delightful. Oh, oh I feel like Beyonce. Looking so crazy in love. Got me looking, got me looking so crazy in love. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. I don't think you're ready for this. Oh, my body too bootylicious for you, baby. Yeah. And for this week, it is finally time to say goodbye. If you have enjoyed this video, this weekly vlog, then please leave a comment in the comment section below. If you've enjoyed this video, then please give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to share on social media and also hit that notification bell so that you know whenever I upload a new video. So until next week, goodbye from me in Shropshire. And always let your body go with the flow. Oh.